Greetings YouTube. My name is Jeff. My name is Patty and welcome to Mountain Top Outdoors. And this is a new channel that we just uh, made up a couple days ago. So we're going to hear, going to tell you a little bit about ourselves. We're also going to do a, a tour of the wood yard here up on the uh, mountaintop and uh, kind of give you an idea of what the channel is going to be about. Also to uh, later in the future run equipment so you guys will get to see what that's about. So, so basically, um, about a couple, a few years ago, we started uh, back in 2010, 11. I uh, was uh, start, decided to start up a business. I had a little bit of experience working for a guy that we had when I was in school. Did it a couple years, only on weekends and um, whatnot. And um, then we turned around, and uh, the economy was kind of crappy. So I figured, you know what, we'll kick up a couple bucks. Around 2010, 2011, I decided to start up a little wood business. So when I started up the wood business, I went around to a couple people saying, if I sold wood, would you guys happen to buy it? And um, most of them said, yeah. So that year, I think I sold like 20 some, 27, 30 cord. Um, I had a little uh, um, little Timberwolf log splitter that we used. Um, a little windy here today, so sorry if you guys hear the noise. Um, so I started off with Timberwolf. Um, then we had a little conveyor timber wolf as well. And at about 2016, we went up to Boonville up at the Woodsman Show up there in New York because we're not too far away. And we had met uh, Andrew from Easton Maine. And uh, so we looked at his machines because they were well built. They're still well built. Um, and we turned around and uh, decided that we wanted to purchase one in 2017. So we purchased a, a 1222 and a STK24, which we still have in the wood yard today. Um, the STK24 we do. Um, and we had the uh, 1222. We purchased that in 2017. Uh, had that for a couple of years. Sold that to upgrade to the 2228, which is what we have now. So we're going to here take a little tour around the uh, wood yard for you guys um, and kind of show you what we, uh, we got and then um, go from there. All right. Okay, so we're gonna enter our wood yard here as uh, we come down the driveway. And uh, just to give you guys a lot of warning, there's a lot of orange and blue in this video. So there's our three trailers that we uh, use for deliveries. Uh, we just got snow the other day and we got more snow coming tonight. That's why you guys hear the wind and probably in the background. So uh, here we got is a New Holland tractor, which we use to uh, pick up our logs, put them on the dock, which I'll show you guys that. Uh, it's a Workmaster 70, absolutely love it. Has all kinds of power, sets up pretty big. It's a pretty big tractor. And of course we pick them up with the forks on that. And then uh, I'll show you a little bit of the IBC totes we have here. Kind of, there's our I'm out there, this, uh, mountain of snow and sawdust, but there's our IBC totes we put in the field to let them dry. So here we are to the bundle station, which we will show you guys here is uh, where we make the bundles happen. So what we do is uh, we have our logs here. Anything that is um, straight grain, um, bundle grade material it gets loaded on these runners uh this is where i buck up uh from 16 inches and then we have an ultra and there's patty this is her baby, baby girl that she calls it so what we do is we take and uh buck up 16 inches it's starting to snow already um buck up 16 inches and then we put it on the ultra here on the four-way we do put an ibc tote here to fill it once the ibc totes are filled we then take them down to the field and so they can air out and dry. And um, once that is done, we then put the IBC tote on these pallets and we have two bundlers that we have. They are Hudson bundlers, but we painted them orange and blue to match our equipment. Um, so and then therefore Patty and I can make bundle grade firewood and then which we put on a pallet We should heat shrink which we'll show that in an upcoming video as well and um, Therefore you can see that and then a little file cabinet for tools um, These are the wedges that we have for the 2228. We have a 12-way wedge, which is right here 
We got the four-way wedge, which is right there. And we got the pizza wedge, which is right there. I built this rack uh, last year. And basically, the reason why we built the rack, it was a lot of a pain in the butt to have the the wedges on the ground. And so now I come with the tractor, I put a little small chain, a little hook, and I go ahead and put um, the hook onto the chain. And it has different slots on the top rail. And then I pick a one, pick it up out of the log splitter, put it down, grab the other wedge that we need. And, put, and that's what's great about Easton Made is that you can have multiple wedges on one machine. So you have you could a very good variety and uh, really minimize your, your product. Uh, a couple blue barrels, one's for like a tools, one's for uh, garbage. And then we have our office, which is right here, just so I can like do chains and whatnot. So then we come to our 2228, which is right here. And as you can see, some of the YouTubers that we have, we have Back 40, Brad, and Fire with the Furnace, Ohio Woodburner, which is down in that corner, Al Larry Cluck, Mr. Shive, woo! There's Joe from Premium Firewood, SS Firewood. We'll come on the other side, got Iron and Oak, got Mr. Darren from Woodruff Woods, and Senior and uh, Firewood, Larry and Robin. And of course, Brad's other stickers right there. So this is our 2228. We had this for about three years. Um, it currently has the uh, six-way wedge on it. And uh, this is what we use most of the time. Um, you know, regular split and firewood just for the commercial and residential use. So here's our um, STK24 conveyor. And as you can see, and this is, we had this thing, I think in 2017. So just to show you guys that Easton Made really builds a good product. It's been that 2017 out in the wood yard this whole time, and it still looks brand new. Uh, incredible machine. Highly recommended. Uh, go check out their website, Easton Made Wood Splitters. Has nice grizzly bars on the top here to separate your debris. And as you can see, the holes... So separates debris, the debris hits the catch pan. And as you can see here on the ground, there's a bunch of debris. So now I'll go take you over to some of our logs that we have. So here we got some of a little bit of left of our seasoned wood, uh, kind of windling that down for the people. And then here's our specialty wood that we have. Uh, so I separate it. So like cherry, oak, and hickory, we do that. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys another look here at another little season pile we have that we're getting so here's another another thing a few cord eight uh, five six cord in that maybe and then this is what we've been getting in here the last couple uh about a, two weeks so we have all this straight grain stuff that the our log suppliers give us which we're very 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 thankful for Nice, good pencil sticks. And it's about 10 feet tall. And it kind of goes down this whole hole. So you can hear how muddy. I imagine everybody else is having the same. So here we go. And I just kind of give you an idea. Like here's a beach here. And here's my hand. So it's a pretty, pretty good sized log. Here's an ash. So it's nice, good stuff. Another ash. So we have that, and then kind of here on the, the end of the pile. So, and then we have, so and then we'll give you a kind of view of the mountain. It's like I said, it's starting to snow here, so you guys will see. <coughs> so here it is, our log pile. There's quite a bit of wood. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. The ski center I don't think you can because it's snowing yeah but that would be our mountaintop open field great place great office we'll just kind of do a, another walk around here on the other side for you guys and then other than that we'll wrap it up and then uh, therefore you guys can see what it's all about Ugh muddy and then like i said here we do have another small tractor it's a new holland 
S subcontract uh, some comp compact tractor is what Patty uses to clean up the wood yard. We sprayed down our shavings so we're not in the in the dirt. But other than that, we uh, hope you guys like this video. So guys, if you guys like this video and you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel. Yep, that would help us out a lot. And uh, like I said, upcoming videos, we're gonna do a lot on our equipment and how we do things around here in the wood yard. And uh, everybody have a blessed day and we will see you guys on the next one.